For the Brewer family from Keller, it was their first vacation trip to Sarasota, Florida, in the white sands of Siesta Key. But while it's the sunshine state, it's also the worst lightning state, where the odds are one in 3,000 that one of these bolts might find you. We're holding up okay. It's, it's, it's been rough. Because, um, as Barbara Brewer told me from her Florida hotel, last Thursday, the odds were not in their favor. A sudden summer afternoon storm. They ran for cover, but not soon enough for her 14-year-old son, Jake. And my son was down on the ground and he had a huge hole in his uh, shirt. It, it was horrifying. Horrifying because the lightning hit him in the chest, the electricity exiting his right foot, blowing a hole in his shoe. Then something else unexpected. The two strangers on the beach who rushed to help. They just started doing CPR on him. And, uh, you know, regardless of the coronavirus or anything, they just started helping him. Oh, they're incredible. Jacob had no pulse for 45 minutes. Now, a week later, he's still intubated, but awake and alert and recognizes his family. We had the coronavirus everywhere. And this man, a complete stranger, started doing, uh, you know, mouth to mouth to bring him back. Every doctor that we talked to said that these two men saved our son's life. For my husband to carry his lifeless body across that beach, we thought he was gone. And, uh, we just kept praying. Those prayers are also supported by a GoFundMe page. Jacob is still in a Tampa hospital. His recovery will be difficult. You seem in really good spirits under the circumstances. Why is that? The support that we're getting like every day. And also the fact that my son is here. I thought I lost him on the beach. He was gone. And now alive thanks to the Florida strangers who brought him back. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.